Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to go back and get your reconciliation reports. I'm working on a project where I needed to get them and thought I would just record myself doing this. So let's do it. I'm going to go to reports on the left hand side of my screen and then I'm just going to search and I'm going to search for reconciliation reports. I'm not going to try to spell it. I'm just going to start typing until my mouse can select it. I can identify which account I want the report for. In this case, I want it for the operating account. I can scroll down and find the statement date that I want. The reconcile date just says, what day were you at your chair reconciling? But the statement date says, hey, which bank statement were you looking at? So what is the statement date? In this case, 531. So I need to grab the report starting in January. I'm going to go over to the right and click on view report. So this is my reconciliation report. Pretty simple. Um, you scroll down, you can see what's reconciled, you can see what's unreconciled. This is really great. This is what I need. I'm going to print this report and then I'll show you a thing. So recon report one of two. Okay, so this is my reconciliation report, the way that I need it and the way that I want it. But I want to show you something you could do just in case you need something different from what I need. You see this box that says hide additional information? When I click on that, it hides additional information. So let me print this and we'll just look at them side by side if we can. Okay, so me here's reconciliation one of two, here's two of two. One of two and two of two both have this information about the stuff that is cleared. But two of two, we said hide the additional information. So that means that everything from here down is hidden. This reconciliation report, it's going to show you everything that is uncleared and, and just not dealt with, but that is after the date of your statement. So my statement date was January 31st. This stuff that you're looking at, it, it's all through December. And so when I said, you know what, I want to check the box that says hide the additional data. I just said, hide everything else, like hide all that stuff that is past. It's later. It's, it's, it's not, it's not helpful for me to see it. So I just wanted you to see how to get the reports and what the difference is between the two reports. You can see them when you click this box. When I unclick the box, my data goes on for days. When I click the box, the data is just what you see right here. This information, by the way, is the information that shows up on the January bank statement. So I'm going to go to January. Here's my January bank statement. And then over here, this is everything that I've got. And so you can see uh, checks that have cleared. There was four checks that cleared for a total of $500. I have four checks right here. And then for deposits, I have a handful of deposits. Here's my deposits right here. So that's it. If there are any videos that you'd like to see me make, please don't hesitate to let me know. Put them in the comments down below or send me an email if it's easier. I'll add it to the queue and get to it when I can get to it. If it's something that's too specific, it will ask you to book a private paid one on one call. But if it's generic, like how do I make a reconciliation report? I'm happy to add it to my YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.